you're probably asking yourself, what's a 1732nd socket? You're probably saying, I've never seen that size on any of my sets. In this video, I'm gonna show you why such an obscure socket is so critical. Chances are you've needed this socket multiple times and didn't even know it. There's so many times when you grab a socket or a wrench and the bolt just barely fits. Then you grab another socket and it barely fits on the other side as well. One size is way too tight and the other size is way too loose. This 17 30 seconds fits right between half inch and 9 16 and halfway between 13 millimeter and 14 millimeter. There's a lot of these Subarus where the caliper bolts should be metric. So is it 13 millimeter or is it 14 millimeter? So that 13 millimeter wrench does not fit on at all and the 14 is way too loose. So what, do they make a 13 and a half millimeter wrench? Come on, Subaru, give me a break. Please don't tell me you put that bolt on there to keep the backyard mechanic away from this. What, now I have to take it to a dealership? Say it's not so. So I can't change the brakes unless I have a 13 and a half millimeter or a 17 30 second socket. Well, I sure hope this was just an oversight and not on purpose. You won't find this size on the typical socket set. It kind of does feel like a cheap shot. The socket's like $3, but it's $5 shipping, so everybody gets one of these for Christmas this year. These all go in the kids' stockings this year. And whenever I buy a socket, I'm pretty particular. As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason to get anything except a six-point socket. A ratchet like this will ratchet into the exact position that you need. Now, a combination wrench, you may need those 12 points. The wrench can't move, so the 12 points make sense on a wrench. I'm not even sure if I own a 12-point socket. You want that six-point socket to fit that bolt perfect. I'd rather tap the socket on and make sure it's too tight. But for me, a 12-point socket doesn't make any sense unless it's a 12-point bolt, which unfortunately Volkswagen makes. Of course, Audi's the same thing. On some of these rear hub bolts, this is the only socket that'll work because the bolt is actually 12 points. And you think a German car would take a metric socket, right? Nope, a 15 16 works better on a German car. And it's impossible to get this hub bolt off without this exact socket. Here's an example of an in-between size. If you don't have that in-between size, you have to settle for something a little too loose, which may end up in a stripped out bolt. You kind of wish they would have added that 1732nd into the socket set. Well, anyway, problem solved. It's in there now. So if you're in a tight spot, now you've got one more option. So if you've been doing this mechanic stuff for a while, what do you guys think about the 1732nd socket? Do you have one? Do you throw aluminum foil on your other socket? I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave them down below. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.